My favorite was the other day when I dropped 19 fucking frags and lost as a solo queue, and I lost 30 elo. That was a good one. That was a good time. Uh, and thank you for the two dollars from Alpha Back and Not Party. Thanks for all the shouts. Let us know if we can get you some free merch for all the publicity you've given us for the past few months. No, thank you, Alpha Pack and Not Party. Thank you for all the legendaries. Hi. Hello. All right. Drone to a bomb. Uh, and can we ask my project guys for Alvarado with the brand new sub? Welcome, Alvarado. Welcome, 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 welcome. Drone has located a bomb. All right, so I'm spawning campfire. I'm gonna position my drone like kind of out here a little bit to see if there's sometimes, sometimes there's vigils that. They do a shit ton of crack, and then they blow, they, they throw impact grenades out of this garage, and they run at you. So I'm just going to kind of put my drone, like, in this area. If I hear an impact go off, or if I hear that door crack, I know what to look for. Five seconds to insertion. Okay, so I haven't heard a crackhead. I shoot the camera. Reload. Got to get all the bullets available. I'm going to kind of chill on the side over here. I got a drone. I'm gonna drone it out. There's a lesion, probably somewhere in here. Not positive, so I'm a little bit scared about this. There's a possibility there's a there's a vigil. I'm sorry in here. So I'm gonna take the drone. I'm gonna drive it past. I don't know exactly where it is. I think it's somewhere over here because that's where the signal is the strongest. But I'm gonna take another drone. I'll throw it underneath, maybe over here, decent spot. I crack the door. Try to get him to position over here somewhere. And I'm gonna buck one hole in the garage on the side. Two holes, why not? So those holes are open. He probably wouldn't be holding an angle anymore. Unless he's a crazy man. He is, he's, so he's gonna peek me from west, which is fine. I hear a guy above me as well. He's trying to pulse me. I'm waiting for him with a skeleton key up close range. Grenade him. Well, I'm gonna use these two grenades. I'm gonna bounce the other one off the ceiling, right in front of all the wire. Blow everything up. Don't know what this guy is doing, to be honest, but hey, it's a free kill, so. I don't know why these guys are running at me right now. They're all running at me. Okay, there's a pulse that just dropped in the garage. I killed the vigil and lesion. So the so this is this is called So what they did is they just threw every person at me, which I got two of them, so I guess not too bad. What I should have also done is they should have Okay, so I have this drone in here still. So even though I'm dead, I can still see this pulse. There's a pulse downstairs, he's by the fridge by big garage. He's about to come up west. He went toward wine now. Roof is clear. Pulse is in like toward wine. Didn't go up west. Last one is Paul's. He went like wine somewhere. So see, like I can, I can, I can give everybody like really accurate calls because of this drone placement. I've been trying to like, while I'm doing this. Normally I don't do this when I'm no. playing ranked because it's just ranked okay. and I like I don't give a shit. Like, but I'm trying to show you guys. So see, look, look where my two drones are right now. They shot my other one, but this one is in a position where I could see underneath Big Garage. So in case I die down here from some psychopath running down a hatch. I can actually make calls for my teammates properly. And I had another one in like front of the West stairs. Uh, and thank you, <laughs> thank you very, very, very much for the 8,000 bits from John. Uh, just got on the stream, looking forward to some plays. Thank you very, 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 very much. John. That's like absolutely, totally ludicrous and insane. Thank you very, 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 very much. All right, we could probably try the M870 challenge here. We'll try this um but thank you very very much I, like i honestly just do not know what to say you've donated me seventy five thousand bits in like the course of a few days so I, I just do not know what to say but thank you very 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 much um can we get some extra hearts in chat that's seventy five thousand bits in like three days or something ludicrous so thank you very much man that's like absolutely absolutely crazy 
Um, I'm just doing some like commentary and stuff right now, pretty much. Like he is fucking everybody's been asking me, so this is what we're doing right now, John. If you just got on the stream, people have been asking me to do like commentary of my gameplay while I'm playing, so that I can um, like what are, what am I doing basically? So I'm trying I'm trying to uh, Protect trying to do that. I'm trying to play a little smarter too, because I'm even playing really dumb. Thank you very much, John. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and thank you for the 500 bits from Miskers as well. Appreciate it very, very much. Big dessert here. I have photos of you eating pancakes with your wife and kids. We're on to you. Listen, I know you're lying because I don't have a, I don't have a wife or kids. And second of all, okay, even without the wife and kids, even without the wife and kids, I'll eat a pancake. I love pancakes. They're delicious. The thing, the thing that I don't love is that people try to call them breakfast. Clear distinction here, okay? Clear distinction. Damn big breakfast chills, dude. They're just trying to lie with their fake news and stuff. Uh, and can we my bitch, guys, for Kim Jung Do with the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for uh, the best from DB at Bring Global. Thank you, guys. Definitely. All right. So, I'm playing Bandit here. Probably not the best operator to play. I just wanted the M870, though, for the challenge that I'm doing. So we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. You don't always get to. You don't always get to have exactly what you want. So I pu I put my two walls up. I batteried the two walls that I had that would be like the most contested, and I batteried two pieces of barbed wire at the main doors. This way, if they try to drone in, they get shocked. They get shocked. I'm shooting these pieces of ca of like shelving or whatever. So when I stand on this counter, I can see over the edge, um, and I don't get like pushed out of the way by it. So I'm gonna crack this pot right here too, because then you get a vault prone, you get a vault prompt, and you can go on top of the fridge and like, you can kind of like burrow into the fridge here a little bit. It's actually pretty stupid. I should probably patch that. They're probably not going to. I see a Blackbeard here. I see the Shitter's shield. He left now. I'm just gonna kind of sit underneath this window. Trent. Uh, oh, I apologize. I missed some bits as well. I'm so sorry. Um, Coming did you do a whole round commentating as Granny Frost? Like okay, that. possibly, possibly. Possible new one. Alright, alright. So I hear this I hear this guy outside. He's gonna jump up. I downed him. Unfortunately, didn't get the kill. But, so what I did is I just laid under and I waited for the lion to go off, which is when he's definitely gonna peek, right? Like, he's obviously gonna peek when the lion's going off. He's not gonna peek before. Unfortunately, not a kill though. Um, and th I hear his teammate. If I had a C4 right now, I'd get a double. Just gonna scare him, pop a few shots off. I down the Blackbeard out kitchen window. Oh, that was a stupid peek by me. They had so what they did is they they picked the guy up and had somebody actually covering the entire time, and he went in trench. That's unfortunate. Oh, not even. Unfortunately. I wish I would have killed him. I, I shot that guy in the side of the head with a shotgun. Oh, well. Um, and can we get some of my jet guys for activated potato with the burning pitch prime sub? Welcome, potato. And thank you for the $5 from Frustrated Alpaca. Seems chat is enjoying the comms too. I love hearing the walkthrough of top tier players' thoughts and plays. You're helping all of us who aren't top players. Thank okay, you, you very much, man. It. Oh, it's just thoughts of time play. That's all it is. Anybody, anybody can get there, seriously. Um, and thank you, Thunderbits from Lieutenant Doge. It's a new episode of Tips with George. It's the last episode we upload to YouTube. I mean, I could upload, like, the bank game if you guys really want. Yeah, I normally don't do this. I'm just doing it today. A lot of people were requesting it, so why not? We'll do it for, like, a, for a couple games and see how it goes. So, yeah. That was a greedy peek by me because there was a down kill. I went for the down, even though, like, really realistically, unless he crawled out, was I ever going to kill that guy? Probably not. The fact that I peeked that was just didn't really make sense. It was pretty dumb, frankly. Okay. So we lost trophy. They're going to be trophy again, but they could go downstairs. I'm just going to do this. Well, I'll, t I'll take a different operator so I can do something differently. So we're not repeating the same the, re the same commentary. So also negative side. If I would have not had a C, if I would have had a C4, I would have also reduced our barbed wire account to basically nothing. Use your drone to and then we wouldn't have had that electric feed of barbed wire, and they probably would have droned us out faster and just pushed. So. 
Okay, so I'm gonna spawn in the same area. I'm Habana. My main goal, since I now know the bomb site is still trophy, is to go up top and to open the hatch for my team. Some pressure up top, stuff like that. Stop the logic. So, yeah, I mean, some not, not every time you make like the perfect play, right? You don't really make the perfect play every time like that. Could I could have made it better? I could have played more passive there, especially with the shotgun. Especially with the shotgun. Um, but thank you very much for the prime stuff from Cheese and Crackers. Let's get some hype jack guys for Cheese and Crackers. Thank you for the 145 bits from Dimple. Quality stream as always. Thank you. And thank you for the 200 bits from Crunchy and Creamy. Hi. Hi. Billy Mays here. Rip Billy Mays, dude. So there's a camera on the left. Camera on the right. Make sure both cameras are destroyed. I should have done it the first round too, but I heard my teammate shoot it. Didn't actually like commentate that part, I guess. So I'm, I'm just kind of checking that out a little bit. I see that there's like a piece of debris sticking through here. I think this is the tree, but it might be a piece of wood. I'm pretty sure the hatch is open, so I'm gonna put a, a claymore. You can get it pretty close to the wall, just like this, and it covers the whole doorway. So if they run out, if they decide to impact, it also won't get this. I'm picking up my drone. I'm repelling. This is kind of a bait. So if this way, if they actually do rip the door down. So I got two drones on me. I'm gonna drone myself in. I'm solo queuing right now. Well, duo queuing, but Crook's not in here. We're just kind of like chilling, playing some ranked. So, all right. Master bedroom and bathroom are clear. Office is clear. Here it is. I'm gonna drone on all this over here. I'm gonna park my second drone over here. Can you can you break down the west door so we don't get run up on? All right. I'm gonna put this drone in the west lobby. And I'm gonna take my second drone and just put it upstairs in general. I can I can have on that if you want. All right, let's do it. You want to get west lobby maybe? All right, so the second drone I'm just gonna put like right here in case we're down the hatch later. So this way we, we can tell if like someone's flanking. So that's what we're gonna do. We got Habana the hatch. And I'm gonna Habana two more spots. I don't really need the other Habanas. So if I get a, if I get a Guman in my leg, that's probably a trap for a C4 potentially. So that's why I took the few extra steps forward, waited till it was about to tick me with another tick of damage, and then walked away. No one's here on this like common spot. People are dying. I don't know where. Shot the hole in the floor now. He tried to impact me for some I don't know what reason really. So I'm like real weak right now. I'm just gonna lay behind here and drone out a little for my team. I'm gonna drone for you guys. Hold up. Where was he last? Okay, there's a guy, he's in library door. I have a drone in West Lobby too, if yeah, someone's that can watch it. All right, so we got my teammate a kill. I hear one in kitchen. I hear one in kitchen now. We can open up the second hatch over here. You don't really have to open this one, but you can. It's like just nice to have. I'll open these doors for pressure. Don't really need to do it. Kind of running low on time though, so. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go west. I'm just gonna push this guy because I can hear him. He's really weak, really weak. Drop shot at peepers. So the reason that I pushed there, honestly, like I could plant the bomb, but I'd rather just take the gunfight because we have a three v one and everyone's pretty like bunched up over there. So even though I died, I know my teammates are close enough that they're in a position to trade. If they were any further back, like if there was one at dining, I, there would be an awful decision to push. But I decided to just go for it because I was the furthest one back and I was in West Lobby door. So otherwise, other options are I could have planted, but planning is kind of risky because there was so there was so little time that if I decided if I decided, hey, I'm actually going to plant. I'm gonna. I'll, I guess I'll like. I, what, what did I do last time I was here? Oh, let's play Valk. Okay, so if I just if I decided to try to plant the bomb, potentially the guy could have just peeked out because he had the impact holes, shot me, and then hid, the and then killed the, the next protected. person planting and hid and like won the round. So if we just if we uh, if we just like ran in, if we just ran in, it would have been probably the best 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 decision. At least you know, obviously like I thought I thought that was that was probably fine. Because we had a Blackbeard as well, up and alive is, you know, two. Okay. So, Valkyrie, you want to put cameras, dep depends on what areas you want to throw your cameras. So for me, I'm throwing a camera here so I can cover all of West Lobby. Pretty hard camera to see. I'm going to throw a camera in the main lobby up here. It doesn't really matter where you throw them. Cam placement's personal preference anyway. 
And I'm gonna throw a third camera outside. Third camera outside. So I'm gonna throw this one in this tree on the side. So I got this camera in the tree. I can see if people are on the big rock, by the kitchen window, out in the gazebo. Lots of lots of information. Lots of information. I see the black beard on the big rock. I'm probably gonna peek him just because it's a big pick if I get it. I heard him drop down. I'm gonna peek. So I'm peeking off information that he was turned around the wrong way. He heard me running out probably, and that's why he pushed forward. I saw a guy on the balcony over there, so I'm going to fall back. I'm just going to take the pick. I'm just going to take the pick and just run in the basement or something. Just waste more time. That's my job as a roamer is to give my team information and to waste time. If I can get a pick, that's a bonus. I already did my job. I killed Blackbeard. I got my cameras up. There's a psychopath somewhere over here, so I'm just going to hide on the side. I can even play this garage cam. It's probably still up. No, it's not. So my teammate's running around. They'll probably be pretty distracted with him. What's going on, Kay? Um, and can we some of you guys for Chip Bandit with a three-month resub? Okay, Welcome back. Uh, learn lots from your gameplay. Keep up the good work, and I hope to see you in public again. Thank you, dude. So I hear this guy, I think. The Bandit, maybe. I'm just going to hide. I'm low HP. I'm wasting time. I'm doing my job as a roamer. Doing my job as a roamer. I think that I mentioned Lieutenant Doge. Uh, called it King George's going to go into casting 2020. Not really interested in casting. Not really interested in casting. Okay. So I'm just like wasting more time. It's now a 5v3. I hear them opening something up. I'm not really sure what that is. I would assume it's probably, probably the hatch. I get the call that there's a Habana. Okay, so I know there's one K9, which is balcony up there, watching main lobby. There's a guy in sight. He got off balcony, so. Alright, so I'm just gonna board this up, go back to site, play numbers. It's now. We got one guy roaming still, I'm about 30 ish. Cool, getting the heal. I hear I hear a guy above an office, yeah. Uh nah, it's fine. Okay, why not? Very nice guy. Okay, so now we're just chilling over here. I'm gonna go play in the kitchen. I'm gonna watch the hatch over here. That's probably where they're gonna come from because they have no time. Let's shoot this briefcase and it just gets in the way. You can play an angle like this. Well, it's pretty nice. So they broke double doors. I'm gonna call for my teammates. I'm gonna play this like super passive angle right here that no one really checks. They're blowing up the wire. Ten seconds left. Five seconds left. I might even let this guy walk by. There we go. Well, I thought about it, but I didn't hear that. I heard the other one a little further back. So I'm just sitting in the corner. You're gonna get a nice cam of me just blowing this guy's head off, which is great. Feels good. All right, so let's see. We're, they lost their last trophy attack, so we get to attack trophy again. Um, I might just take, a, we'll go buck again, but we're gonna use buck in a different way. We're gonna, instead of breaching from the basement, we're gonna breach from above this time. We're gonna breach from above. So we can do, we're gonna do a bunch of different stuff today. We're not gonna do the same stuff on the same rounds ever. All right. They live in Gavin. Uh, why the fuck in Yeager? Uh, ADS. Uh, rolling Candela. What? Oh, it like. Why does it roll? It's not even a projectile. I don't know. I guess it has like a motor in it or something. Maybe it's like a. Maybe maybe it has like a scooter engine or something in it that we're not aware of. Okay. So either way, really like the safest spot to spawn over here is by the campfire. Like unless you're doing something, no matter where you want to go, unless. Unless you're a coordinated team, you could take from like library, which is up there, the upside, upper side, like above gaming room. But like, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't really like going over there, especially in ranked, where essentially I'm solo. Like it's we're duo queuing right now. It's me and Crook. We're not even in Discord together though. We're just kind of chilling, having a good time. Um, and we have some guys for Ronnie Mac 420 with the brand new Titch Prime sub. Welcome, Ronnie. Okay. So we lost a teammate to a spawn peak. Get the cameras. My teammate was kind enough to claim more of the door for me. Great. Great start. 
He didn't put it in the exact right spot, so I still gotta be somewhat mindful of that, I suppose. Um, but I throw the drone up again. There's a pulse here. I am going to try to shit on him with a cool grenade. So I'm gonna try to roll this grenade right under the door. It works. He's dead. He is definitely upset. He's definitely upset. I did lose my drone in the process, but that's fine. I'm gonna throw another one. Drone for drone for a player it's worth. Okay. Uh, the hot tub clear. Bathroom's all clear. Bathroom's clear. So you gotta make calls for your teammates. All of the upstairs is clear in the master bedroom. Master bedroom's clear. There's a Jaeger in the hall. So I'm just gonna shoot some shots into the wall. Why not? Sit behind this stone right here. Tap a few more shots. Anybody have a drone? Call for teammates' help. One kitchen. He just, he just ran down. He ran down west. Okay, so I'll show you guys the holes to make up top. So this is... Oh! Where am I being shot from? Thank God. Okay. I'm scared right now. So this is the hole above where I was sitting that one round. I'm gonna get a free pick on this lesion. I don't potato. Okay, so I don't really want to take this walk out into the hall because this guy is being annoying. So I'm gonna go this way instead. Now I can open up all of the dining over here. Maybe he'll waste a C4 on it. Probably not. We got above back dining now. We're gonna open up above the kitchen door so we can't exit this way. And it's an Ella right here. I can't kill any of these people, but you know where the holes are now. That's just good. Probably should shoot the defaults, but I'm not. This one in the kitchen. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, I cannot shoot people from the floor right now. For some reason. Down to one friend. I was one trip. So I'm gonna use this grenade. God. Oh god! One off four remaining. It's doing in the kitchen. Ten seconds left. Okay, so what I did there, my plan my plan in my head for what to do there was to throw the grenade in the west lobby to blow up the wire to do one to do two things both uh okay um hold on one second before i go over that uh thank you for the 200 dollars donation from lord popo can we get some extra hearts in chat for the 200 dollars dono from lord popo reddit saying siege needs to die interesting Interesting. Okay, we will actually look at that. Um, we will look at that. We will, we will look at that in one sec. Okay. But th okay, that's ridiculous. Thank you, man, for the two hundred dollar dono. That's like actually insane. I got three percent alpha pack on top of it. Oh my god, dude. I got three percent alpha pack as well. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. Okay. Um. Okay. One one sec. Okay. So. I'll, I'll tell you guys really quickly what I'm what I'm what I was trying to do there. So what I was trying to do there is I knew I was in a 1v2 situation. I potato on all those people. Those both those guys should have already been dead because I was shooting them through the floor. So my goal when I'm coming down West Lobby, because I know the one guy I was shooting at him before, and then I get the other call at the other ones that was like near trophy area, is to throw the grenade in the West Lobby doorway so that it does two things. Number one, it blows up the wires. So if I want to use that angle later, I have the option to do so. Second of all, it's gonna deafen them for where I'm actually coming from when I'm running down those stairs. Unfortunately, I didn't time it exactly right, so the Ella peeked out. Luckily, she potatoed, because at that distance, that gun sucks now. So I was able to kill her. Then I'm in a 1v1 situation. I get a, a call. Uh, I get a call from a teammate that she's, like, near kitchen. I see the guy, pop him, and that's it. If not, I would have been screwed, because the bomb was stuck all the way downstairs. So, okay. Loading. 